Hi everyone! In this video I'm going to be showing you how to do the blooming rose or the blossom rose. The products that I will be using in this video are from the Madame Glam company and I will be using their blooming gel and I will also be using their perfect black gel polish and their perfect white gel polish and also their no white top coat. The link to Madame Glam is in the description box below. Be sure to take advantage of the coupon code that you see on the screen and you can get 30% off your order. The first thing that I've done is I have painted the nail with perfect black and I cured that for 30 seconds. Now I am applying the blooming gel on top of that. When you apply blooming gel, you wanna make sure that you have a nice even layer on the nail. Don't make it overly thick and don't make it too thin. You want the white gel polish that you apply on top to be able to move around so that if you have it too thin, it won't be able to do that. And now I'm going to apply the white gel into that wet blooming gel. And it's best to use a white gel polish that is thin, not too thick. And I am using Madame Glam's Perfect White and it seems to work really good. And watch me put these petals on. When I do this, I take a drop of the white gel polish on either side of the first centerpiece and, and it looks like a comma, right? And then I come around the other side and I drag it. And everywhere where there's an opening, I add a comma. And then I pull it from the other side too, just like this. And I keep doing that until I get the rows, the size that I want. And then I'll go on to a different section of the nail. And it's, it's pretty easy. That's a, just a tiny little comma. Then you have a larger one. And then I come around and pull the side. And I am doing this with my non-dominant hand if you're wondering if I'm jerking or anything like that. I really like the effect of the blooming gel and how the roses look. Now right here I kind of mess up a little bit. But I come back there and I fix it up and then it turns out it turns out pretty good. See that little black space there? I decide to kind of fill that in with some white gel polish and it works. Once I'm finished drawing on the roses, I will go ahead and cure that for one minute. Now I'm coming in again with the perfect white gel polish and I am highlighting the inside of the rose petals. This is going to give the rose even more depth when you look at it painted red. Once I get this done, I will go ahead and cure it for 30 seconds. To paint my blooming rose, I use a no wipe top coat and some red alcohol ink. And in this palette, I just mix up a few drops of the no wipe top coat here, and then a few drops of the red alcohol ink. And I get it to the color that I want, and then I go ahead and paint the nail. And I'm going to paint over this twice. I'm going to do this layer and then I'm going to cure it and then do another layer. I just think when I mix my own jelly polish, it just seems like it, it has more pigment to it. And with alcohol ink, you have a full range of colors and there's, it's just so easy to mix just the right amount that you need. And yeah, so easy. So that looks pretty good, but the second coat looks even better. And there's the second coat. Isn't that beautiful? That is pretty. I really like that. And can you see the depth in there? Now I am top coating with a no wipe top coat again. And as you can see that the alcohol ink cures right into that top coat. And if you notice, my brush is not turning red at all. Do you see that? So you don't have to worry about like your brush turning red. All that brushing and 
there's no alcohol ink on it. And now I'll cure this for one minute. That is the final result. I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. I am in love with these blooming roses and roses symbolize love for Valentine's Day. And happy Valentine's Day to you. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.